What's up? Glad to see all you guys. Welcome once again to the Tech of Tomorrow YouTube channel. We do all the tech all the time. What am I doing today? Well, today I'm going to do the unboxing and first look at the Roku 2 XS. Now, what is this thing? Uh, well, basically what it is, it's basically a little TV converter in a box. Now, previously I had bought the Apple TV. Hmm. I liked it for some things, but as soon as I went to do any of my Amazon stuff, well, I was shit out of luck because, well, they don't support it at all. And being in my living room, I don't listen to any music whatsoever. Mm, the uh, Apple uh, TV thing kind of got kind of obsolete very, very quick. For one thing, I watch a lot of Netflix and I watch a lot of Amazon Prime stuff. So with that said, I was like, screw it. I need something else. So for my Christmas present, I asked for this and Santa, he delivered. Thanks, Santa. I appreciate that. So with that said, let's do the unboxing and check out this little thing. So I'm going to freehand this shit today. I'm going to bring this up, show you guys this up here. See the front of the box and all that good stuff? Now, you get games on this too. And it has a motion sensor in the remote control. So you can play motion games. So you can play like ping pong or that type of stuff all through the Roku 2 XS. And check it out. They're free. And it supports every single solitary one. This one has no hate. I guess the only hate they have is you can't do iTunes on here since obviously Apple probably told them to go frack themselves because you know how those folks are. So we'll spin around to the side. See the side of the box. Not much to that, but we still want everybody to see it. Otherwise, it would be a proper unboxing. Here's that. Zoomy, zoomy, rockin' roomy. All right, folks, so a couple quick incisions here. One here. One here. Pop it out of its little box here. Dun, 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 dun. Kapow! And there we go. Right at the bat it says, Hi, let's get started. Only problem is if you're too damn high, you probably ain't going to be able to get started. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so there we show it. It's a little guide and everything. Shows you how to hook it up and all that stuff. There's different types of audio connections and everything. It comes with RCA cables. I'm probably going to use... HDMI because that's what I prefer we'll use in these type of devices, but we'll just go ahead and flip through it so you guys can see it All right, so that's enough of it. We'll move past it blah 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 blah. Okay, there you guys have saw it now Here we go right here two more pieces of the device dun 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 Excess Not to be confused with in excess the band. So let's pop it out of here now This thing's really really small now if anybody ever saw the Apple TV and thought it was small Well, guess what sunshine this thing's even smaller so let me go ahead and get this tape off of it. We'll go ahead and show you the ports right here on the side, USB. Here on the back, HDMI, audio video out from their cable, Ethernet for plugging into your internet, obviously, the power. On the side over here, a little purple little Roku thing. I don't know if you pull that out, it makes it work or not. Probably not. Let's see here. They got this extra little tape stuff on the side of it here. I'll go ahead and just remove all this off of here anyways. So there we go. Get it properly taken off. So that's pretty much it. And let me take a look at what this thing right here. No, I guess this is just a little tag on it. It has nothing to do with anything. It's not pulling on. I don't want to break it. So I guess that's not part of it. I guess I should have read the instruction guides, huh? Mm, nah. All right, then. So here we move it on. Here's the remote control. The plastic sure came off of that nice and easy, as you can see. All right, and it even has, that's right, check it out. It even has a little thing to wrap around your wrist. Now you guys know why this is in here, right? Because earlier I said that it supports those motion sensor games. So, you know, one of the biggest problems that they had with products like the Wii was people going, hey, whoa, and then throwing it right through their monitor and breaking their monitor. Happened many, many times. So here's the remote, very simple and laid out. It'll control Angry Birds and all that other stuff. Plus, like we said, the action-based games. So let's get that out of the way. Is there anything else inside the box? Yes, there is. We have the cables and some other stuff. All right, let's get that out of there. So here is the power adapter, power plug, which is obviously going to go into here. And then this one's going to go into your wall. 
or into your little hamster thing that you got with two little hamsters spinning around to charge your electricity, whatever you got at your house, you know. Different people got different stuff, I'm being fair. So then we got the wires. Go ahead and take these out of the bag. This one plugs in the back, obviously. We have the little small plug right here. 3.5 plugs in there. And then you have all of your jacks right here. I'm not gonna use these at all. I'm gonna go straight to the HDMI. And then last but not least, we have batteries. And then the important product information guide and the batteries for the remote. And that's it. That's all the stuff, so. Well, I guess it doesn't work with the cameraman anyways. But hey, there you go, folks. Like I said, the reason I bought this is I mainly just watch movies in my living room. Whether they're Blu-rays or just watching streaming stuff, that's my gig. I watch no regular TV at all, and I do mean never. Hate commercials, burned out on that shit years ago. As soon as Sci-Fi changed their name to, you know, Sci-Fy, I was like, F you guy and was never watching that anymore and went strictly to what I'm doing. So this thing streams much more. I like it better. I'm not a fan of running movies from Apple. They charge way too fracking much. Who the hell wants to pay $5.99 to rent a fracking movie when you can go and get one from Redbox for 99 cents? Uh, yeah, let's do the math. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Or you can rent them. They have rentals on Netflix, much cheaper than them. I like the Roku. I think it's going to be very cool. A friend of mine had one in his house. That's the guy who inspired me to get it because like, he was like, well, do you listen to music? And I was like, well, no. He's like, well, then why do you have that Apple thing? And I was like, I thought it was for TV, but it doesn't do Amazon. So that's why I got it. It's 80 bucks. Check it out if you're interested. I think this thing personally, if you only watch movies and you don't care about music, I think this is much better than the one that you get from Apple. Unless you're the person who just spends all their money through the iTunes store, which I don't. With that said, peace out. Like that video and show me the love and always be subscribed. I'll see you in movie land.